Sports. Sports. I'm gonna say she likes this part. She likes sports talk. She fast forwarded to the sports <laughs> part. Uh, thanks, mom. Appreciate that. Um. Anyway, so the timeout that cost the Raptors the championship. Can we start out with that? Do it. Wow. Um. I was watching the game last night and uh, Raptors and and the Golden State Warriors. And it was a great game. They were going back and forth, and then Kawhi just started getting hot. Like, oh, uh, Kawhi Jordan. Yo, know, he looked unguardable. Yes, that man was hitting shots crazy. That one three he hit, and, and uh, it didn't face, even look like it went through the freaking hoop. It's like the hoop didn't move. It was crazy. Like it was just like it transported to the other side. Um, he was he was scorching hot. Oh yeah. The Warriors had no idea what was going on. Then they, they, could they, were not, confused. they could not put a good shot up. No. And they were tired. Oh, they were super tired. Uh, I know, two I minutes know he said he called this timeout because he wanted to get his team some rest. But you, Kawhi is, is – he couldn't be any hotter. No. And the other team is tired too. Like it's not like – it's not like it was starting to turn around. Like you were on a run. Yep. And on they, a crazy ten uh, yep. zero run, yep. just Kawhi by himself. Yep. And yep. then you call this timeout, and it's like I said. It, I said that? you texted me right yeah. when it happened. I, I said it. I texted you. I texted the group chat. I was like, "Yo, it's like they just cost themselves the game, bro. The game. They just they gave the Golden State Warriors energy, man. I could not. I mean, <laughs> and yeah. And then Kawhi comes right out of that, and boop, and boop. I mean, Clay. Played some sick that that on that Kate. turnaround. I mean, Clay Thompson is just he was like, yeah, defensive. yeah, so good. He, when he is like committed to, when oh. he's like, I'm locking you down. I mean, he could he could not come back and not shake him. Oh. And uh, and then from there on, it was just like, oh, Warriors hit Clay hit a three. Steph hit it. It's like and crazy. Van Fleet. Steph hit a crazy three. And then Van Fleet, like instead of like. He's trying to go shot for shot with Steph Curry. Like, he did a couple. Yeah. And then it was just like, Badoom, Badoom. Like, God damn it, man. You can't outshoot Steph Curry. And then Clay Thompson. Like, they were taking stupid shots. And and let's, oh, let's, let's talk about this uh, final shot here. Because... Draymond got a piece of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was mad as hell. Yeah, 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 but that's not even what I'm talking about. Yeah. He, Kawhi made the right play. Yeah. People were coming to double team him. Green was open. That's what you do. You pass you pass it out, you swing it to the open man. And and yeah. Draymond made a great play to get in front of Lowry because he was covering Gasol. Mm. And he and he ran out and, and, and got a piece of it. But if this is three, four years ago and LeBron did that, people would be destroying yep. LeBron. Yep. For do, making the exact same play, yep. and LeBron would have made a better pass yep. to somebody who was wide open. Yes, and so I'm not gonna get on Kawhi's case because I've always been okay with making the right Ooh, pass in that right situation. Now. But people, all of a sudden, who were shitting on LeBron for his entire career because he would make the right pass in the clutch situation yep, to yep. the open man yep. who has the best chance of making. The, uh, making the shot, mm-hmm. you can't now be like, "Oh, uh, Kawhi made the right play," and 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 then not do this. I mean, I mean, you shouldn't, but you shouldn't give Kawhi the shit because he did the right thing. But I just, I can't, I don't like that. There's that double standard, and LeBron used to get shit on. I mean, endlessly for this, and I I didn't hear anything. About, about but you know what it was though, because everybody hates the hate um, Kawhi, um, um, Kyle Lowry, because dude, dude, I I mean I know I, on the floor it's different from the vi- vi- the stop view, he passed it to Van Fleet right, and then Van Fleet Van Fleet passed swung it to like, Van Fleet should have passed it to Danny Green was wide open, he was by himself, he was or empty, yeah, nobody was next to him, he was like this, <laughs> and they passed to Kyle Lowry, and Kyle Lowry took the dumbest no, shot as soon as. As soon as this saw the ball going to Kyle Lowry, I was like, game. 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 He is not hitting this shot. Nope. And, uh, of course, Draymond got the piece of it. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I just, I don't. Uh, they got trapped in that corner, man. They should have passed out that yeah. corner, man. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not a professional basketball player. I don't know a bunch of things, but Danny Green was so open. He saw how pissed he was, right? Yeah. I mean, and, and look, there was like 
less than two seconds left on the clock. You just got to make the pass and take the shot. Like, yep. You're not going to be able to analyze the whole floor. for it. You, see, you see somebody that might be open, he gave it to Lowry. Also, I think Ravens' mistake shot. was they gave Kawhi the ball already. They should have brought it up with somebody else. And they then, ran no play. No play. They didn't run a play. No. Get, you got to get Kawhi by himself, man, one-on-one. And if anything, Van Vliet should have fake driving into the lane, passed it out to Kawhi, and let him just just let him throw. If you're yeah. gonna let, if you want somebody to throw it up, let Kawhi throw it up. You think he's going to seven? Yeah. No, I think so. I, I can't see Golden State losing this back. In and the they're hyped right now because KD's hurt. And the yeah. The, the, can we talk about the crowd real quick? Laughing at KD injury. Yeah, that was messed up. That was messed up. Like what kind of evil people are you, man? <laughs> Canada went dark last night. Yeah, for real. Um, no, I think um, I think the cra- I was I was saying it was like all those rich bougie fans mm-hmm. who who can afford the playoff tickets, but aren't really going to cheer her team. They said donate their tickets to the real fans who are going to scream their asses off the entire game because they need that home court advantage. And I think if they get if they get a crowd like they. Like they used to before the Warriors fans got spoiled by all these championships. They're they're, they're running Toronto out of the building on uh, Thursday. I don't you know, gotta man, wait until Thursday for this next free game. I know, game oh my god. Um, and then what? What's after that? Sunday. And then Sunday. I can't go, stand that. If I, go, I will be. I will be here on Sunday. This, I mean, it's Father's Day, but I'll be here Sunday night. <laughs> <laughs> these these damn times between two days between each game is so. Ridiculous. Me and my balls are talking about that today. We're like, it's yo, dude, crazy. It's, it's so crazy. I don't, I'm not saying you have to play any back to back, but one day is more than enough. Yeah. They, they need to, if you don't trust that you're going to get ratings on a Saturday, you That's need to stupid. do something about your sport. Because you will get the ratings. You got to have these guys playing on Father's Day. All these, guys, all these guys are fathers. You got to have them playing on Father's Day, dummies. General, Saturday. It's be a lot of. A lot of happy fathers and a lot of really angry fathers. I'm like, yo, you know, we should just drive up to Toronto. <laughs> Shit. Tickets are, you know how much the tickets are going for right now? $2,200 for Nose Bleeds. Crazy. No I'm good. I watch that's from TV. That's what I was like. Who, no, wait. Can afford those things? Like in the lower seats? No. Come on. So, um, I guess from that, do you think KD's free agency money is going to be affected? No. he's that gonna, injury? He's still getting the max. Or Superman, he's, whatever he's, whatever. he's probably going to take a year and a half to heal. He's going to take a year. It'll take a year because Buggy came back in, in less than a year. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I think... <laughs> you tried. You tried. I think um, this affects Kyrie. I think Kyrie is going to the Lakers. No. It's happening. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> The only other option... Lonzo Ball other, is good, man. He's going to be great in this The NBA. only other thing that was happening was Kyrie going to the Knicks with KD. KD's not going to the Knicks. Kyrie... Where do you no, think KD's going? He's going to stay with Golden State? I think I think he's staying with Golden State. Um, Did you see um, that they released a shirt by accident? And it showed... Championships, yeah. And it showed... It showed like, no, it showed... No, not even that. It showed um, them his, all, his, all his destinations. And it went from mm. wherever, and it went from Golden State, and then the next one destination was said San Francisco. I think he's. I think he. I mean, with, especially with the injury. Yeah. He's got. It, he's comfortable with this medical staff. Maybe. Maybe he's not comfortable with the medical staff, and he wants to leave. Um, if he goes to the organization with the best medical staff, though, I think it's like. And the next have one. No, I think it's like Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> I think Phoenix has the best. Is anybody ever? Staff. Devin Booker's always hurt. He's a fragile dude. Oh my god! He's such a tiny little. I mean, he has two baby mamas. Got pregnant at the same time. It's crazy. Um. But yeah, I think I think uh, I think Kyrie I think Kyrie's going to Lakers now because Kyrie I think Kyrie knows now he ain't the alpha dog. Yeah. He needs he needs uh he needs another guy to lead, and he's so he's not going to the Knicks where he's gonna have to be the leader. Yeah. Uh, and I don't see unless unless Anthony Davis goes to the Knicks, maybe then he could then I could see him going to the Knicks. I don't want another big three. Um, especially the Knicks. That's all we need. God damn. Not Bruin would be a big three. I mean, no, if Kyrie, KD, and AD. no, like, I don't think he's going to the Knicks. I think I don't know. 
You saw the kid with the, ne- the next jersey? The, Ke- the, um, the Kevin Durant next jersey at the game? No, I didn't. That funny, That's though. hilarious. Um, yeah, I think I think this pretty much, unless something happens with Anthony Davis, mm-hmm. uh, which the two teams that are basically most serious about trying to trade for him are the Knicks and the Lakers. Yeah, the Knicks and Lakers. He said it. He said, I'll only take a match. Yeah, that's what he said. He's that, yeah. Lakers and Knicks. So it's going to be those two either getting them. Um, wherever he goes... How much do you think? Well, I get? think if he goes there, then they can't sign Kyrie. Though. Who get, who gives him more money, Knicks or Lakers? Who? Who gives him more money? Uh, gives who more money? Eighty. They both they both max them out. That's the thing. That's the thing with NBA is like you get the money no matter where you go. Both teams are maxing them out. But then then the Lakers can't get Kyrie, so that'll be good for you. Um. Then I don't know where he's going because I don't think he's uh, he might go to Brooklyn. Yeah. But then the Angel Russell, I don't know how that works. Oh my god, um, so crazy! It's like it's, it's, this free agency is gonna give me a headache. It's gonna be, it's gonna what's, be a lot. I can't wait. Is it June first? June first. No, uh, uh, July, July. No, June thirtieth. I think because they June, moved it June, earlier. June twentieth is a draft. Yeah, ten days. What, ten days after? No, you? less than that now. I thought I heard ten days today. I'm not sure. Yeah, but ten days. It's coming up. Or nine days. Um. I guess we can talk about the highest paid athletes right now. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go over basketball real quick. Um, and, you know, all these freaking stupid... I, I was just giving me a headache. Let's talk about some sad stuff. Um, Hold on. One more basketball thing. RJ Barrett forcing his way to the Knicks. <laughs> oh, God. And to get traded. No. That's what's going to happen. Please don't. Can we, all right, you want to go back to this real quick? You know what's going to happen to your Knicks? Your Knicks are going to trade for AD. They're going to trade their, all their uh, um, assets plus the draft pick to, to the Pelicans because Pelicans want that combo you know of... Why this, you know why they're not going to do that? Why? Because they're the last team to get hosed by a trade like this. Or by a signing like this. They already or did trade that. Like How many times have they got hosed? Just with Carmelo. Oh, Myers, Stoudemire. That was Curry. a free agent signing, huh? Eddie Curry, Tyson. Also Chandler, free agent signing. I'm talking about trades. Randolph. I'm talking about trading your whole squad for one guy Quentin. and then getting shit on for the next Trace five years. Tracy McGrady. She's a kid. No, now you're going too far. Oh. Tracy McGrady. He was like a he was like a ten day contract signing. <laughs> um, Everybody no, thinks I'm just, a I, you know what? I'm I want a young guy that I can root for and watch him grow. Yeah. That's what I want. Didn't you just I have that for the last three years and then he left your team because you're Organization sucks balls. Yeah, but that was him. No, that was him. He was he's a douchebag. Um so he got punched in the face. Probably got punched in the face. <laughs> um yeah, no, I think that was more Porzingis. And and plus he came in when the organization was literally at its worst. It was freaking filled Worst Jackson. ever. Um I think uh RJ wants to be here. He he's always talked about being a Nick, even when uh even before he we ended we were the number three draft pick. Um, so I'm pretty. I'm pretty. I, ho- I hope we get him. I hope he wants. I want somebody to want to be here. I don't want somebody to just <laughs> be here because they got traded here and are stuck here. RJ, I think RJ. But you, you know what? These young players now have a. They're smart. They went to school. They paid attention. It's a cool thing to do now. They're like, where am I going to make the most money? You might be going to the Pelicans, Zion, but <laughs> I'm going to the Knicks. I'm never going to be paying for food or clothes for the rest of my freaking life because I'm going to be a Nick. I'm, my, I'm probably going to have never pay for my apartment. I'm, I'm going to be rich. Yep. They, they said it. You could be a billionaire being an athlete in, in, uh, in New York. Look at Derek Jeter. Yeah. Alex Rodriguez. Look at all these guys. Like anything. New York loves their. That's why. That, that's why. Like I don't understand why. Free agents don't want to come here. Yeah, I guess maybe it's James Dolan, but it's the freaking media too. It's like I oh, mean, being dealing with that. I'm that's not what you gotta do. It. It's like stop. I, I don't. I don't know. RJ Bear is also Canadian, so he's very friendly. Is he Canadian? Yeah, I don't know. He's, you know, Steve Nash is his um his godfather, right? Oh no, yeah. His dad, his, his dad played basketball. His dad's a famous basketball player or soccer player in, in uh, Canada. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, RJ Bear is um, Steve Nash's godfather. Interesting. Interesting. I am interested. Um, oh, but did you hear uh, what uh, David Griffin is asking for? For uh, 80? 80? No. He wants <clears throat> an all-star 
a future All Star, and two first round picks. So he wants from your Knicks, Kevin Knox, R.J. Barrett. Is Kevin Knox a future All Star? No, he wants. No, he wants an All Star, a current or All Star, which the Knicks do not have. Um, a future All Star, maybe. You're talking Kevin about Knox? the Lakers, so we trade all four young, young players. That was kind of, the fourth round pick. Yeah. Um. So before the round pick, Lonzo Ball. Um, first round pick. For no, we'll have fourth round. Well, well, first. Sorry, fourth pick in the first round. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. Um. Yeah, you. Yeah. You Lonzo have, Ball. You'd have to trade Kuzma. Kuzma, Ingram, and Hart. For eighty. Yeah. No. It's ridiculous. So stupid. I don't know. But he's gonna. I think. He, I honestly, I think he's just asking for the world and sees what offers he gets. He's doing the same thing that the other last guy did and kind of burned his whole house down. Yeah, but I don't know. I think. I, I honestly, if that trade was really on the table from the Lakers, I would have done that in a heartbeat, just to be done with the headache. You got four young guys now, but what are you gonna do? Oh my god! I got a. I was playing some two K. Mm-hmm. Did my GM? Oh Jesus! Here we go. Tanked, traded, made a couple trades. Mm-hmm. I got the first and fourth overall pick. I got RJ and Zion. How the heck did that happen? I'm a beast. And now we're you and you still playing the game with them? Yeah, I got them. I, you guys see my squad. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I had so many guys that. I had so many good players. That they were getting mad because they weren't getting playing time. Did you watch? Did you watch that guy on YouTube that does that? He does the GM modes. Yes. Mike, Mike, um, Kuz, Kuz. Oh no, I don't watch him. I watch uh, King of the Fourth Quarter. Oh no, no, you gotta watch this other guy. He does, he does rebuilds. Anyway, we'll talk about this later. Yeah, we'll talk about <laughs> it. Um, good. Well, um, well, I guess until we get to that, let's talk about that. You know, talk about money right now. Um, highest paid athletes in the world right now. Oh yes. All right. Soccer. So we're gonna go from ten to one. Okay. So, starting from number ten. These are the highest paid athletes right now in the world. So this is a year they're making. Kevin Durant, $65.4 million. Injured, sitting on the bench right now is making 65.4. Steph Curry, right above him, $79.8 million. LeBron, $89 million. So basketball players are done. Okay, this is the scary part. Basketball players are done right now, okay? Aaron Rodgers, $89.3 million. Russell Wilson, eighty nine point five million. That's it for American football. So all American, technically American Americans are gone, right? Mm-hmm. Now, international p- people that are not from this country, whatever. Roger Federer, tennis player, only tennis player up here, ninety three point four million dollars a year. Freaking endorsements, man. Canelo, ninety four. Million dollars. Now, the top three breaks the hundred million dollar mark. Okay, it jumps right up to one hundred and five million. Namor Junior. That's the one I didn't know. One hundred and five million. Oh, this were easy. Christian Ronaldo. One hundred and nine million. Lionel Messi. Dope. One hundred and twenty-seven million dollars and counting. He's still. They, they think he's going to be making more money next year. Probably. <laughs> this is the highest paid. Yo. Yo, the NBA players are getting paid nothing compared to the soccer players. No, but the average, I'm sure, is much higher. What do you think? What do you mean? Like, the av- like they're getting paid that much because they're those are literally the two greatest soccer players of all time, basically. Is there something up here that you don't see? What do you mean? What don't you see? What sport don't you see up here? Baseball. Baseball. Football. Well, you, what the problem with baseball is they don't get endorsement deals because they don't they don't advertise their players. All the all those guys are making that money because of endorsements. What about football? You have only two quarterbacks up here. You would think you would have a linebacker, yeah, maybe a wide receiver. No, no quarterbacks get paid crazy. No, not quarterbacks. I'm talking about wide receivers, but linebackers, defensive ends. No, they don't get paid like no, quarterbacks. They, why though? They, they do more work than them. No, the quarterback wins the entire offense. Yeah, cool. That's cool. You can't but win with a good without a good pain, quarterback. Pain, all that stuff they go through. 
It's crazy. Yeah, pay, I'm, I'm not saying they don't deserve to get paid more, but I'm saying the quarterback definitely gets to, the, the quarterback deserves to make more than everybody else. You know what I also see up here is Russell Wilson is a great quarterback, right? Aaron Rodgers can't even chug a beer. <laughs> <laughs> He thought I was going yeah, to. Yeah, he thought I was going to say suck. How about stupid? Aaron Rodgers doesn't suck. He just can't chuck a beer. No, he cannot. Did you see Tom Brady with his freaking all the rings? He's like, yeah. he's like, fuck no. Freaking crazy. Yeah, he's got like just a hole going down his throat. Oh my god. Speaking of soccer, though. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. That's a good. That's a good transition. The women put the whooping stick. To no women up here. No women up here. But thirteen goals. Did you were you were you able to watch? Oh, what's the highlights? I was watching live when, Tell, I, when uh, I got uh, home. Spree, spree, when spree, I got spree, home, spree, spree. it was already because I think the game started at three. I think I got home around three fifteen. Uh, it was already one zip. Uh, by the end of the first half, it was three zip, and you could tell like they were just getting going. And then you open up the second half, and I think I'm like. 12 minutes they put a, they put three goals in and then it was just off to the races and yeah, I, I, I just felt bad for those Thai women they were I mean there was just nothing they could I mean I was literally watching the US women just go up to them and just like just like get out of the way this is my ball now and it was just not even fair like it was like it was like watching grown men play against kindergartners like they were just Moving these women out of the way and just taking the ball from them. They're going to get stoned. Was, they were they were so good. The, the Thai women are going to get beat. I'm so bad for them. I feel so bad for them. I mean, everybody knew they had it. They didn't have a chance. Remember last night? Back, I don't know. I don't know if you remember from last night when we were playing Xbox though. But I said nine zero. You did. That was my you prediction. Did. You did. And I was short by four goals. That was crazy. The most ever in World Cup history. It was, it's. Unbelievable. Alex Morgan have five by herself. She's so good, and 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 I'm happy. She's she's the first World Cup I, she was in. Uh, she was still a secondary scorer to Abby Wambach. Uh, the last World Cup she was injured coming in, so she wasn't as effective. This World Cup is going to be like her masterpiece. She put in five goals against the team like it was. Like she was in practice. Did they take the great. starters out and put some? Um, yeah, but you only get three substitutions in in soccer. So they probably took their best field people out and just like rest. No, they, they no because Alex Morgan stayed in the whole game. That's why she got five. They, but they did put in Jersey Girl Carla Lloyd. Uh, she got her goal and she was the last one. Uh, the last goal. The you have a long hair for your mustache going in your nose. There it goes. <laughs> I was wondering, was it best for you? Um. So yeah, I mean it was just a beat down. There's nothing really to analyze about this game. It was uh it was basically an exhibition. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Who do they play next? Um I think they have Sweden next. Ah, they'll be fine. No. Now it's gonna be like They're gonna be they'll be Sweden. Be humbled. They'll be humbled by Sweden. No, no, no. no. I, we're gonna we're gonna win every game in this tournament. But Think so? Yeah. What team you guys say always wins, right? Always yeah, yeah. Wins. We're, we're, the, we're the best team in the world. Um I thought it was gonna be twenty. I thought it was gonna be like like yeah, I got just, in the... at one point it was just like <laughs> I, I was literally I, I was talking to uh, Jimmy and Mike in the in a text, um, like literally I was like updating because uh, I, Jimmy I don't think Jimmy was able to watch and so I was just updating him every time they scored. I was like literally texting him for the update <laughs> to the score and he scored again. I was like I can't do this anymore. Oh was, my and, god! And I just started updating him like every three goals. Because uh, it was just, they were just, at one point, were just pouring it on. I was just like, this is like playing FIFA on beginner. Like, or it's like playing John in Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. Uh, it was just crazy. Johnny White I Shoes. I couldn't, I couldn't. Wow. It was, it was the most fun I've ever had watching soccer. Just because watching watching our men play soccer and then watching our women play soccer it's like there's no comparison our women are just beasts and our men play like shit yeah it's true it's, um, they put so much effort and you know there's so, there's so much respect they need to like I don't know why they don't have the doors crazy endorsements they're amazing they're so good it's so ridiculous good. that's ridiculous they, they, 
Yeah, they should be getting paid whatever they want. They're that amazing. That's Is the girl from East Brunswick still there? Megan went to school with one of them or something. The Carly Lloyd? Maybe that's one. I don't know. I know Carly Lloyd's from Jersey. Maybe that's one of them. Um, yeah, it was it was a it was a beatdown. Oh, speaking of beatdowns, did you? Uh, we didn't talk about the UFC. Oh man, you when did you leave on Saturday? Was it break? I left Tony, after Tony's fight. You left after Tony's fight. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you don't know that. No, because I forgot about this, <laughs> <laughs> so there's no reason to talk um, about this shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And we can, and, I mean, so let's just talk about the three yeah, fights yeah, yeah. we care about here. That's why I said I was like, "There's no reason," because I was like, "Oh man, I forgot about UFC." Tony, I thought we talked about Tony this. Ferguson, Donald Cerrone. I saw, I saw the highlights of this fight. Such a good fight. Oh god! If it, if we get a third round, that's fight of the year. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm convinced if we get third round, that's fight of the year. Yeah. But Donald Cerrone blows his nose. Blows his nose. What an idiot! The cardinal rule. He just said, "Nah, I'm just going real quick." Boom! I mean. I've never seen somebody's eyes blow up so fast. So explain to everybody why you shouldn't blow your nose. In your, your nose is broken. Uh, when you go to blow it, the air don't come out. It just just packs right in your sinus, which is right here, and it just it inflates your skin. Like, and, and when you're already bruised and and swelling from getting punched in the face, it. I mean, his eye. Disappeared. There was no eye. I, don't, I, I wonder how that feels. That's got to feel horrible. Like, oh, yeah. I, don't, I can't even imagine like what that feels like, like your eye closing up like that. I mean, I've been congested before. Right? Yeah. You know, so tight in there. Sealed <laughs> shut. It's crazy, right? The camera pans him. He was fine. It, it was crazy. And, and, and it sucks because, you know, for Tony Ferguson was like, damn, I want to. Because Ferguson was going to win that fight. Especially after that second round, you mm-hmm. could see, like, this was Ferguson's fight. He was messing Cerrone up. Yep. Um, not that Cerrone was getting destroyed, but he was losing the fight, and and it was just that it was act, it was what it was as advertised. It was nonstop action, uh, two guys that can fight any style. They stood up and they were throwing. Everybody thought it was gonna be a ground. It was fight. crazy. It was so good. It was so good. Everybody thought um, it was gonna be on the ground because you know Cerrone's really good on the ground. Tony's, you know, yeah. not as good as Cerrone, but um, yeah, but for, uh, Tony's uh, jiu jitsu was pretty crazy. Yes, he's his submissions good. are sick. He's good. Um, yeah, that was a great fight. Uh, like I said, if it was if it was the third round, fi- fi- probably fight of the year candidate. Except for except for maybe a championship fight that might have come along. But Eddie Bravo said he's like you know I was, we when you went in there respecting uh, Cowboys um, ground game. Mm-hmm. No, for, you have to. You know? it's like, it's the that guy's all around. That guy's been in so many fights. What's the uh, what's his record? Uh, th- at something at eleven uh, or twelve. Um. I think it's. It doesn't say in here. Anyway, he's uh, he, he, been in a shit he, he, ele- he, he was he was something at eleven before yeah. he went to the fight, so it's twelve. Yeah. Twelve losses now. He's, he's been thirty six. Thirty six. Thirty six. Thirty six. There's thirty six. Twelve shit now. Fights, yeah. But uh, Tony's what? I'm not sure. He had one lose, one loss, right? I think so. I think so. Um. Oh, right there. Yeah. Win the loss right there. Where? Oh, 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 oh. Right. Oh, one more. No, that's not good. Okay, forget that. That's right. Sorry, sorry. Um, but yeah, great fight. Uh, and he, Don, Cerrone's number number four. He was. And then now Tony Ferguson's twelve, but he's gonna shoot up, right? Wait, no. That must be something else. There's no way he's number twelve. He's number. He's the number two. Yeah. Twenty-five and three. Twenty-five and three. Um. Yeah, I don't know why that said number 12 there. I don't know what that was. Uh, next fight, we had Valentina Shevchenko. Jessica, I, did you see the highlight from this? Oh, my God. The kick in the face? She kicked her head off. That was... Look how straight that was. Right oh, my God. She... I thought she killed this one for a hot second. That one head broke right? around and did not move. You hear the noise? She didn't move for, like, five minutes. I think she was, she was down... Because she was down for a while because... They didn't even let Shevchenko celebrate because that girl hit the ground Boom. and did not move a muscle Nothing. for minutes. It was and scary. It was, was kind of scary. It was scary. <laughs> it was kind of scary. Because the, the way her head snapped back and the you know, sound Dana that kick like, made when it hit her head. was crazy. You know, Dana White was like, oh my gosh, somebody just I mean, she hit, she kicked her. You can't kick anybody in the head any better than that. It was a full extension. I'm, I'm sorry, I had to knock. Nobody's ever died in the ring, right? 
I'm sure. I'm sure when so. UFC? Not in UFC. Okay, I don't so think, but. Uh, and MMA, I'm sure. Uh, I did not because I was knocking because I just wanted to be like that. Put out <laughs> anybody because that's scary, man. That was a that was a scary knockout. Uh, she oof. clocked her. Um, great fight, Shevchenko. You know, I, that's my first. I haven't seen Shevchenko fight much, but her when she won the title, I wasn't that impressed. Or or when she beat JJ, I don't know. I think that was for the title, yeah, because it was vacated. I, I don't know. Um, but I wasn't that impressed by that when. Uh, this, I mean, Jessica looked like she was prepared. Almost, though. almost kicked her. Head she off. looked prepared. <laughs> yeah, but she got she, she got she was murdered. gonna beat that that whole first round. She was kicking her. She's that's how she set it up. She set it up with that left, that body kick, mm. kicking her body, kicking her body. I mean, I've never seen somebody get kicked in the ribs so many times. And second she round, one? she came right out in the second round. Look at look at on this picture. You can see the dent in her ribs, bro. But that's not where she's gonna. She was gonna kicked on this side on her left side here. What the heck is that then? I don't just call this. Probably got kicked on both sides, but that, <laughs> getting kicked on this side was what was setting her up. Then when she was bringing that kick, mm. she thought she was going for the ribs again. She brought her hand down, and then boom, head snapped back. Do you see the muscles in her? Yeah, she's leg? a freaking robot. She's a robot. Oh my god, she's she's great champ though. Great champ. Um, How about Henry's fight, man? Yes, man. Oh event. my Henry's god, Pluto was Henry's a beast. Was, Kind of getting his ass whooped. In he was. The first he round. was. He was. But he's he was kind of getting his ass whooped. And it's like he hulks up, though. It's like, uh, yeah. And second round, Bryce came out and he was dead. And Sahu so was like, "All right, sorry, you gonna slow down a little bit and just, just beat him up." He was just touching him, touching him, touching him. He was trying to go for that knockout in the first round. That's what yeah. he, was, he was trying to kick, kick. He was. He put all his power yeah. out. And, and you can see Bryce came. He was a little thick. He wasn't. He didn't look like he lean as usual. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, he got he got caught. Uh, Cejudo, champ, champ. <laughs> Those hammers, yes, yeah. man. <laughs> he. Uh, when yeah. you saw this, when you saw. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 it was crazy. He, he, he looked champ. so good in the first round, then, then just died in the second round. Energy man. And, uh, what are you talking about? Cejudo we talked about this. Advantage. We talked about this when we were watching the fight. You were like when we were having that whole discussion about. Fighters lose the energy because of two heavyweights. Yeah, it just died in the middle of the second round. Yeah, um, you're too big sometimes. Yeah. You know, look, 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 look at his frame here. He yeah. was so much bigger in the yeah. fight. It's like he was bloated or something. Yeah. No, he definitely he, he looked way thicker than, than he usually does. Um, and yes, yeah, so the champ champ. He wants to defend both belts. Dana said he'll he'll, he'll if it works, works out on the schedule, he'll let him try. I don't know if he can do that because I. Cutting to one weight and then cutting to another one, that's going to take its whole on your body. Do you see how much he made? They should have, There was a, a picture on Facebook show every fighter how much they made. Oh, no. He made like $440 million. No way. Something like that. Oh, no, it's not possible. That's what he said. They don't make that kind of money. No, it's $440,000. i am sorry. Okay. That's yeah. what I, more money. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. $440,000. Oh, sorry. I do apologize. Yeah. $440,000. Okay. And that then And then I think the girl made 295000 It just showed the, the breakdown. Bonuses and bonuses all that. Yeah, because I'd really, probably give them five of the night. Tony was going to get that. Tony's pissed. He would have had that. Third knockout. He would have had knockout the night, too. Yeah, that, too. Well, I don't know. Or the head kick. That oh yeah, she out. definitely got knocked out. That much? was crazy. What's the bonus for that? Fifty k. A sweet bonus. So she probably had two hundred and forty-five mil, right? And then they added that fifty on top of it. Two hundred forty-five thousand. Keep saying million. I would, you know, one day, one day these juicy fighters gonna be in that. If it gets big enough. I don't know. Not with these ESPN papers. They're not gonna get enough money off them. But I wonder if they know why. And the UFC doesn't care because they they're paid. Yeah, but so my fighters are getting screwed. ESPN don't care either because they can they they're getting a subscription dollar. Mm -hmm. So really, it's just the fighters getting screwed. Well, they're gonna have to go to other places to fight. Bellator. <laughs> Bellator won. I would hate if they all went to one because that's <clears throat> they fade in the middle of the day. Um. All right. Well. Uh, From that, we could talk some about some sad news. Um, what were we talking about before? David Ortiz. Yes, that's crazy. <laughs> so everybody thought he was getting robbed, but the true yeah, story yeah. is he was banging somebody's girl, and the guy came up. Is and that shot the true him. story though? Because there's been yeah. a lot of craziness coming out. Nah, there. did you see the Did you see the TMZ video came out? The, his si David Ortiz's sister beat the crap out of that girl in the hospital, oh. in the, when he was getting surgery. Wow, <laughs> it's on the TMZ. 
the fight. That's crazy. Isn't that insane? Put it on. Um, but damn, man. How are you so stupid to go shoot David Ortiz? They jumped that man and beat oh, him up. Well, it wasn't even him. They, they found a driver. It was two of them. Oh. They, the one they beat the crap out of was the driver. The getaway guy. Apparently the, gun, the gunman... Uh, I don't know if they didn't catch him yet or they're still looking for him. TMZ? Yeah. Wrong acronym. TMX? Oh my God. What am I Jesus. doing? Talk about me. Okay. Game of type. <laughs> Game of type. Needed second surgery over Boston return. Resting comfortably. Nice. Finally. Stable now. Okay. He, got, he got some decent uh, <laughs> surgeons. To yeah, for real. Not, not, that, that's he would have died in Dominican part. Republic. If you can do a surgery in Dominican Republic, you don't know what the hell you're getting. That's one thing I like traveling, man. I'm scared about that, man. Nobody cares about Whitney Williams. I don't think I've ever been on TMZ. Sports. Website. Go sports. Sports. Let's go down. I'll be there somewhere. Alright, you might just have to type it in. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> um, hey man, I mean, how, how did you feel when you heard that news, man? Was, was it me that t- told you? You found out before I told you. Uh, no, I, f- I heard about it on, on the radio. Crazy, Dude, man. Dude, Ortiz's sister. Fight. <laughs> Here it goes. Videos on there. Go down. There it is. Oh, shoot. Right there, there it is. Press Y. <laughs> transition, man? No. Nothing? No, 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 no transition, man? I can't even hear everything. This girl's not trying to film. <laughs> Dude. Trying to get killed. Alright, so basically not, this video shows yeah, nothing. This really shows nothing. <laughs> uh, they made it seem like it was about to be crazy as video. That's what they do. That's why I hate clickbait. Um, yeah. So basically, we don't really know. Uh... I would like to hear about it. Um, David Zeus had two fighting girls fighting. One was his sister, though. And his wife's on the way. <laughs> so he had a, yeah. he has a mistress. So that girl was his mistress. Allegedly. Allegedly. Alleg- oh, oh, you're defending your fellow man? No, I'm just Allegedly. Allegedly. You don't know. Um, really it's crazy, man. Almost lost a uh, big part of the Red Sox. I mean, who gives a crap about Red Sox? Yeah, I guess. Um, <laughs> no, look, I mean, I, look, this is uh, serious. Serious stuff. Um. Yeah, I mean, just lucky that guy shot at nothing. <laughs> Yo, for real. I mean, well, he shot at him. I mean, he shot at it, but like his legs went out. <laughs> I don't think he's ever. He's obviously never killed anybody before. No. <laughs> I feel bad for the driver. He got his butt kicked. Like, yeah, he did get for no bad. reason. <laughs> I just um, drove the car. Yeah, we, I'm sure we're gonna see that play out over the summer. Oh yeah, a bunch of stuff going on there. Yeah, but that's why you don't go shoot Big Poppy because that guy. Ooh, they messed him up. Yes, they did. That was that was brutal. Um, but that's what you get for being a driver. That's it. Don't ever be a driver. All right. Well, I guess that's the end of the show. Uh, so, guys, like, share, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and hopefully Twitter. I keep forgetting to do that, but I gotta do Twitter. Um, yeah, so we'll be talking. We're probably going to do a podcast maybe if we do Sunday. If the finals end up the Sunday, then maybe we'll do something after. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No, we're going to just watch the finals. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, check you later. Go see Men in Black. Men in Black comes out this weekend. Go see Men in Black 2 or 4, whatever it is. 4, maybe. All right. Is that this weekend? Yes, yeah, this weekend. Oh, wow. It's a free movie pass. Movie A-list.
A-list AMC. Go do it. It's AMC A-list. Anyway, peace, people. Peace, peace, peace. <laughs>